Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So Coke Studio Bangla just dropped their third song for season 2 and without wasting any more time, let's just quickly listen to the song and see what they have for us in store this time. So it's a 4 minute 40 second song. Um, so it's definitely rock and I love the vibe and you know uh, the lyrics from what I read in the subtitles it reminds me of that U2 song uh, With or Without You although it doesn't sound anything like that but uh, kind of just because the resemblance of the words and that too only the subtitles I don't know what it actually sounds like uh, in Bengali that's one uh, so previous two songs were very raw in a very simple way they, they, they were making a a lot of use of you know sounds which can make which one can make just by you know uh, tapping one's hand or, or using other stuff like uh, we saw uh, in the previous one in which they were using all those uh, <laughs> kitchen instruments to to create music uh, this one's very different from that and we have a lot of electric guitar happening we have a lot of saxophone and all of that happening uh, great change and quite a surprise uh, this shift the previous song uh, was talking a lot about the earth and I see a lot of fire happening here in the background. So uh, I like the whole thematic setup of this. Let's just listen to it more and see, uh, you know, what happens next. Um, so this is very reminiscent of Eva B. I have to mention it, you know, one can't miss it. Um, I do have a sense that uh, a lot of people might just, uh, you know, uh, look at this and they might say that, you know, now we are starting to copy something. I don't really think so. Uh, I think it's more to follow a tradition that someone had set and uh, respecting that, that that's how I would look at it. Uh, I understand the whole uh, vibe of the song now. So uh, why we have that fire in the background of that because it's it's a very fiery song. It's it's a very uh, it it's tapping that emotion, and I think it's going to work very well for the youth, especially because you know uh, that's the time when when you get frustrated like this and then you go like no more you know i have enough of it and, and all of that so so that's the emotion that they're tapping with i've had my phases of that and i've been in and out of that phase but it just reminds me of something that you know a lot of people say that certain kind of music is for the youth and certain kind of music is for um you know more mature people and all of that I have always disagreed with that because good music is good music. Uh, this song clearly uh, is going to be, you know, uh, appealing to, to the younger crowd more. But it's a nice song and I'm enjoying it and I'm not a teenager anymore. So, uh, so so there it goes, you know, that that's how you make good music and, and if it's good music, everyone's going to enjoy it. Okay, that was short. Uh, but a wonderful song, uh, apart from all the things that I've mentioned already. I think another thing which I really enjoyed about this song was that, you know, there's no, uh, there's no mess here. Uh, they have selected their sounds and they stuck to it. And uh, it was very clear and, you know, uh, if I can use the word comprehensible and uh, absolutely love this song. This is a song which I think I'm going to listen to uh, a few times over, definitely. Uh, so how did you like this song? Coke Studio Bangla is coming through, man. Uh, one surprise after another. And so far, all these three songs have covered such different tonalities and emotions. And, and I think they've been very effective in conveying what they wanted to convey. So uh Gonna listen to this song a few more times and definitely waiting for the next. So how did you guys like it? Do let me know in the comments. And, and that's basically it for today. Also guys, 
if you have come all the way and if you're still watching this i would be really grateful if you would check out my books i have authored seven books all of them are light fun reads and all of them are available on amazon i will share the link to the books in the description below my latest book is called the part i left with you and that's a book which i'm kind of proud of and i would really like to have your thoughts on this if any one of you picks it up do let me know how you liked it the link will be there in the description below and that's it for today guys and until next time keep listening keep reading keep watching cheers